Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody wants me to show them how to do some placement with barcodes. First of all, your, your barcode's really fuzzy. I'm gonna. Sh this is your page. I'm gonna show you how to make a barcode. Go up to Object, Insert, Barcode. Type in whatever number you want. Go next, next, next. And there's your new barcode. But look how sharp and crisp it is. So, I created another page with fresh barcodes. And he wants it placed on each page, like right in there. So what I'm going to do is create a macro. We can go ahead and open multiple pages. So we're going to do five pages. These are kept on all five pages because I've got something to check. And if you get lost, uh, it's under Windows, uh, Dockers, objects and right here I've got it checked keep desktop objects on layer default yours might not have that so we're going to take the first one I'm going to hit P and then I'm going to start writing a macro so I'm going to go to tools scripts start recording and I'm going to call it bar just for the video as soon as I do that the record the mark macro is started there's no hurry Windows, Dockers, Align and Distribute. I'm going to click. I want it to the edge of the page. I want it to the right of the page. I want it to the bottom of the page. And then I'm going to hit my right arrow or my up arrow key. Well, you actually have to check off of it. Right arrow key and left arrow key. And stop recording. Okay. So now that's one's on the first page. Let's go to page two. I'm going to hit P. I'm going to open up macro, and we're going to make a shortcut for this in just a second, or scripts, and I'm going to go right here to barcode, and it put it in the exact same place. So let's create a keyboard shortcut. It's right there on my recorded macros. I'm going to try... Uh, See, there's a lot of numbers taken up. Um, okay, the escape key. I've used it for other things, but I must have just leave them. Assign it. Okay. Now, let's go to page three. All I have to hit is put P and escape. P and escape. Click on it. P and escape. Now, you could quite possibly get rid of the P to put it in the center of the page, but some macros need a, an origin to start looking for their object. And I, I mean, I put it, you know, uh, moved over like that. And if you look, it's like to the edge, but remember I said it had a white background? Let's see if that white background doesn't go to the page edge and it does so that's that's the uh, problem uh, if you're printing that on paper I don't think it matters um, even if you know depending on what color it is I don't think we can you can't really trace it it's a non kind of a non traceable thing let's see if the eyedropper tool will tell us what color it is and see it's an RGB white so it should not degrade But if you need it, maybe in a, a just a you know just a little bit off the edge, just 0. 0.5 and go 0. 0.5 up and over, and then that way it would definitely be off the page. But you could do that with every one of them and do it on pretty quickly on hundreds of pages. Um, I wish there was a way you could just magically do all of them with one keystroke, but. I do not know it. Anyway, I hope that helped that person and thank you for watching.